Ham and TV giving you the West Ham latest news, aka hammering the news. Today we just found out that David Moyes will be leaving West Ham at the end of the season. And that means that Lopetegui has agreed terms to join West Ham in August. After yesterday's rant against Chelsea, I'm not going to say, like, I fully hate Moyes. He is our greatest Premier League manager we ever had. But, the thing is, we, everything we build up on, from winning the European trophy to getting back to back European spots to fighting for Europe to to fight for what we deserve and to put performances like Chelsea, Villa, Arsenal, Liverpool, Fulham, where we were constantly getting battered by those teams is just unacceptable. I I'll always appreciate Moyes. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say I don't appreciate Moyes. He's an amazing manager. I think he does get underappreciated. There are managers that won the Premier League, and that, that I would say they're overrated. But David Moyes and what he's done for Everton, Manchester United, and West Ham. He is one of those managers that can be said that is underrated. So I've got full respects on David Moyes, what he's done for our club. But I think it's the right time to go. We need someone that's fresh. We need someone that can change tactics, that can improve the squad. I don't see if if we keep Moyes for another season. I don't see him improving the same squad. I think if we keep Moyes next season, then we're gonna keep having the same problem at the back line and making constants for mistakes. We shouldn't even be in the the top the top part of the league, the top off of the Premier League. I think based on the stats, we should have been in the relegation battle. But the point is, like, we've had good times with David Moyes, winning against Arsenal, beating Chelsea, beating United, Lanzini Screamer, Lingard's Band, European Trophy. Aiden Alkmaar's last in the golf for now. Constant fight for the European spot. Fighting for relegation battle. But it's just like... We have to part ways with David Moyes because... The, we need to do what's best for our club. When you're managing a club, playing for a club, owning, for a, club, owning a club, you always have to do what's best for the club. That's the number one priority. When you, as I say, when you have a job, a, that is, I don't care, part time, volunteer, or full time, the number one priority is like is is making sure that you're doing you're doing what's right for your job. You're you're, you're protecting your 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 doing role at the job. When you're going to school, the number one priority is to get the school work done. Learn about the histories, the maths and English. Learn about the physical side of PE and that the mental side, that the the theory side of maths, English, science. When you're going to religion, like the temples or mosques or churches, you always have to like your number one priority is like bless the God. When you're having a family, your number one your number one priority is to protect your family. 
It's the number one thing you have to do in life. Family. And even if you don't have a family, that's, then that you, that's, you've got so many other priorities. And the thing is, the prior, having a priority is like... It keeps you occupied. So I think sacking Dave Jenmeyer's leave in this, in this, this end of the season is the right thing. Because, like, we don't know what's going to happen next season. We don't know who's going to go and come. I say overall this season, it's been a good season in the first half. But when we hit January 2024, everything fell apart. And that is a massive concern. If we played like we played in the beginning of the season, where we played August to December, where we got points of Tottenham, Chelsea, Arsenal, United, then yeah, I would have kept Moyes. But the fact that everything we built up on last, like from August to December, going away, and like, performing really bad, it just makes us fans want Moyes out. Lopetegui is going to be the replacement for West Ham. A lot of people saying that Lopetegui isn't a bad choice. I agree. I wanted for that. I wanted um, Amarim. I wanted Valeska. But I'm going to give Lopetegui a chance. Because uh, this is what we're doing against Moyes. When we found out Moyes was going to West Ham, he we we all had doubts. After Billy Green was gone, we all had doubts saying, No, don't sign Moyes, don't sign Moyes, don't sign Moyes. Even my brother was making fun to me. The the moment when David Moyes got announced as West Ham manager, my brother made fun to me because he's a United fan and he suffered the the Moyes pain. So like to have Lopetegui te- as manager, I need to have faith. We need to have faith in Lopetegui. Yes, we've got the worst owners in the Premier League. Yes, we can't get rid of our owners. But I need to have faith in Lopetegui. If he wants to bring... West Ham and change West Ham to the right way then have faith in Lopetegui if we have a bad season next season and then we sat in Lopetegui and get a new manager then who knows who's going to be our next manager of the Lopetegui but like in life, like when you're working on a job, like I don't care if it's part time, if it's like full time volunteer. In life, like when you're doing a job, you have to like the management changes, so like you have to um give them a chance the new management. So yeah, how does he? How does Robert take Um. How does Lopetegui tactics for us is going to play for next season compared to David Moyes? I have checked. He plays 4 3 3 football, which is going to be interesting. So he plays four at the back, one up on CDM, then two midfielders. Then I think we're going to get a new. I think Sujet will be dropped. So it'll be Alvarez. So it's, um, Alvarez, two midfielders, striker, and a two wingers. Um, Picard is definitely going to Man City, so we're not going to ha- see him next season. But like, I think... 
as long as we as long as we play attacking football, creative football, and not be defensive and not give up on football matches and actually say think about giving a fight compared to yesterday's game against Chelsea where we didn't give a fight where we handed Chelsea the victory. As long as we have that mentality goes next season where we park the bus constantly and not do anything, not play the players in the right roles, then that's fine. If we play the players in the right roles, then that's fine. If we go to back to David Moyes' tactics to Lopetegui, where we play fossil football, where we just park the bus and turn Moyes' ball to Lopetegui ball, then that's going to be a massive problem. So I don't know if that's going to be a massive... If, that, if we're going to have another Moyes problem where defensive... Tactics are gonna get through games, then that's then we should just check more as if we're gonna do that. There was rumors earlier today saying that Lopetegui was was gonna be a Bayern Munich manager after Tuchel left. Tuchel left, but. It's curious to think that Lopetegui wanted to go to a Premier League side, West Ham, then go into Bayern Munich. No disrespect to Bayern Munich. I'm not going to disrespect Bayern Munich. They've got a good, good club history. They're the Champions League semi final right now. No disrespect to Bayern Munich. But the manager said that he would, he wanted to stay in the Premier League. So he decided to go to West Ham over Bayern Munich. If I don't understand if someone would want to go to a big club like Bayern Munich and like they would have to choose Bayern Munich or West Ham, then I think the obvious choice would be Bayern Munich. I don't think Lopetegui would be Good in Bayern Munich, but any person in the right mind would have to choose Bayern Munich over West Ham. So I'm surprised Lopetegui picked West Ham over Bayern Munich. I'm surprised. Um, can we keep this moment? Can we change West Ham into the better? I think we will. I think if we get the right players and sell the the players that we don't need, then, then why not? I think we need to do that and change everything. We got into May to June, change everything from our club. I think if we keep the players like Bowen, Cudis, Alvarez, Ariola, Kufal. Palmieri, then that's fine. If we get rid of players like Paqueta, Antonio, Ings, Corne, Alvar, no, um, Agued, Mavro Panos, then that that's the key to making Robert Teggy a good manager. Do what's right for the club, and he's, and he's got until if he's got until September, August. He's got till three months to August. We're not in any cup finals. We're not gonna get any like. Community should be coming in the cup finals, or we're not going. We're not, we're not in the title race, so we've got until June, July for pre-season 
and then hit the right spot. So I can and then to the right spot from Lobtegi Gang into the right mid for us and playing 21st century football is all I need. I need a manager who wants to play the right tactics, who wants to, ta- to use attacking tactics. And if David Moyes doesn't want to use the, the attacking tactics and use defensive tactics, then it's the right decision for him to go. If Lopetegui wants to use attacking tactics and buy some players that can help us, then that's good for us. I saw I can think attacking is key. Um, I think if I was Lopetegui, I want him to focus on young players, not academy players, but like, fine, yeah, academy players, but on, like, who, who plays for, like, starting 11. I want him to focus on players like Yamal. I want him to focus on players like, yeah, put, put trust in the young players. Because if he puts Young on the trust players, then he can find that arc of greatness. I think youngsters... I think if he uses youngsters, then that's fine. Not like under-15s, under-18s, under-21s. Like someone who can... Who's... He's um maybe like in the subs, maybe academy graduates, not world class, but like he's like he plays with our potential. So yeah, thanks guys for watching this video. Hit the subscribe button if you need to hit that button if you enjoyed this video. Um, next video is the Luton Town um review slash preview. Yeah, I'll do the preview as well, please, because the last game. Um, the Luton Town preview will be on Saturday before the match started, of course, and then Sunday. Let's see how it goes. Peace. I'm out. Come on, you eyes.